In this problem, we're going to find the limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. So in order to find this limit, we can do it two ways. And let's go ahead and do it both ways. So solution 1 is going to involve just basic factoring. So we have the limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 2. And the bottom piece here is actually the difference of squares. So whenever you have x squared minus 4, that's really x minus 2 times x plus 2. The end of the x minus 2's cancel, so we still write the limit sign. x is approaching 2. It's really important to always write the limit sign until you take the limit. This is 1 over x plus 2. At this point, we're in a situation where we can plug the number in. So we end up with 1 over 2 plus 2 which is 1 over 4. And that would be the final answer. So that's the general rule. I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, but when you first see a problem like this, you always mentally take this number and plug it in. In fact, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's say you plugged in 2. You would get 2 minus 2 over 2 squared minus 4. So you would get 0 over 0, so that's undefined. So then you resort to another tactic, which we did here. Solution 2 actually relies on the fact that this limit has the form 0 over 0. This is called an indeterminate form. There's all kinds of indeterminate forms, but this one in particular is special. Whenever your limit has this form, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule says that whenever you get 0 over 0 like this, you can do the following. So you have the limit as x approaches 2, and L'Hopital's just says you can take the derivative of each piece. So the derivative of x minus 2 is just 1. And the derivative of the bottom piece is just 2x. That's because the constants will be 0 uh, when you differentiate. And now you can plug into 2. So you drop the limit sign. So you get 1 over 2 times 2. So you get 1 over 4. So two ways to do this problem. One, to use basic factoring. Two, to use L'Hopital's rule. No, L'Hopital's rule does require that you know how to take derivatives. So you would have to know that the derivative of x is 1 and that the derivative of x squared is 2x, right? You bring down the 2, subtract 1. That's, that's the power rule. So two ways to do the same limit problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Make sure to subscribe. Take care.